Welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my other baby to be songs. And hey, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ami, and on this channel, we play alternate rock, indie pop, and folk. So if you're interested in that, come on, just, just give it a little boy, just subscribe, just, just a little subscribe. Anyway, um, let's get into this turf. We are in open D, and I'm gonna measure the string as E to E. Just, just to simplify it, so we don't, we don't have to change everything. Second of all, it's a big picking song, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the picking pattern while going with the chords, because the chords are really simple. And hey, if you're already a pro, you can skip to the playthroughs. Oh, all that is in the timestamps down below. Check them out. Let's learn how to play. See you in the video. First things first, we are gonna teach our fingers which strings to play because I swear that makes the song a whole lot easier to play. So the top three strings are gonna be played by the thumb. The D string is gonna be played by our our index and the bottom strings that is the E and the B are going to be played by your marriage you're probably thinking okay I can play the bass and the rhythm a bit I can I can play that right but how does the actual melody come in and that's gonna be played by the other fingers primarily your ma marriage fingers so we're gonna start with our first chord and that's on the E string for the fret. That's it. And all our index, all our marriage is going to be doing, is just going to be picking like this. You can see a little bit, yeah, yeah, the melody is coming in there. And that's where the picking pattern comes in. So, we're going to start by picking the E strings together. Then we're going to pick the A. Then we're going to pick the E again. And then, always these two are going to be played together with our 3, 4. So let's try to do that nice and slow and try and see how that looks. together, the A, the E, these two bad boys together. And that's the picking pattern. Okay, now let's move on and try and see, try and see how it moves on throughout the song. So we start here, we go down two first for our next chord, we leave it open, and then here things are get a little, a little spicy, okay? So what Bay does is she introduces the picking pattern for the chorus here. And nothing much changes, all we're going to do, instead of picking the E's together, we're going to pick the B and the E together, and then the rest of the C. Let me show you how that looks. So for the next chord, we're going to put our index down on the 2nd fret B string, and we're going to pick the E and the B together. Then we're going to follow by the A and the E, and these two bad boys after each other, just like usual. So it looks like this. And we're going to keep that picking pattern for this open chord, we're gonna play that four times. So let's take all we learned and go through the playthrough. Perfect, now let's move on into the second part, which is the verse. Hey, good news, we have already done the picking pattern that's used, so all we're gonna do is go through some new chords, and then we're gonna do just just a short playthrough of that, so let's go. So this is our first chord, and it's on the 11th fret. Um, this is how it looks like. We're gonna play it once. Go down two frets. Go down two frets again. Go down three frets this time, sorry. On the sixth fret. And we're playing that chord twice, and we finally end with the chord we started with. And then we go back to the verse as we continue. I also put my index down before I play the open chord, for example. So we play here. Instead of just leaving everything open, I put my index down on the second fret of the B string. And that kind of just helps me go through without having to stop and plant while before moving from the open back to this guy. So let's move on into the chorus. And the good thing is that we kind of already learned the picking pattern. So all we're gonna do is gonna introduce some new chords and kind of refresh our minds on what that actually was. So we're gonna plant these two fingers on the fourth fret. And that's the first chord of the chorus. So from the other chord we learned before on the B string, the picking pattern is we're gonna pick the B and the E together. And then the rest is gonna be the same. So we're gonna pick the A right after, and then the E, then the E, then the D and the G. So like this. And then we're gonna slide that up and we're gonna play 
and put our marriage down on this to make this chord. Same picking pattern. And right after this, we're gonna play this thing about three times. We're gonna play one more time. And then we're gonna finally add the last chord. And that's what this is what it looks like. We're gonna slide this whole shape that we just done the fifth fret down onto the second fret. Okay, so let's get into the last part of the song and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a playthrough of that. But before that, I wanna ask you guys, I wanna do a story on you and I all the time. And I'm really excited about it, so if you want that, um, please tell me down below. So we're gonna start with this one. And we're gonna start with the second part of the first, second verse. The first part of the second verse. Very just close like we usually do. And that's the next, that's the end of the song. I, I hope you enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching. If you made this far, see you guys later. Bye.